Hello, my name is Grant, and I'm a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'll show you how to reference a resource that's in another AWS CloudFormation stack during template creation. Let's get started. Let's talk about the fundamentals of a cross-stack reference and how it can be created. To create a cross-stack reference, use the export field to flag the value of a resource output for export. After the value has exported, then use the import value intrinsic function to import the value in any stack within the same AWS region and account. Keep in mind that the AWS CloudFormation identifies exported values by the name specified in the template, so these names must be unique to your AWS region and account. Let's see how to create an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance in CloudFormation while using an imported security group and subnet from another CloudFormation stack. First, let's log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the CloudFormation Console. As you can see, I've already created the network stack that contains my networking resources as well as my exports. Later, I'll reference these resources when creating my EC2 CloudFormation stack. When I select the network stack, I can see the stack's outputs by choosing the Outputs button. As you can see, my stack is configured to output these three values. To reference any of these values from another stack, I can simply use the import value intrinsic function and specify the export name. In addition, you can see how this export is created by choosing the template button and then locating the output section. Based on the previous page, the public subnet represents the key. The value represents the value that I desire to export. And the export field represents the export name that I'll directly specify in my other CloudFormation stack. Now, I'm going to create a new stack to provision an EC2 instance that uses this existing subnet and security group exported from this network stack. Choose Create Stack, followed by With New Resources Standard. I have an existing template that I'll paste into the designer. However, you can choose to upload a template file or specify an Amazon Simple Storage Service URL. After selecting Create Template in Designer, select the middle option to create the template in the designer. After entering the Design Console, select the Template option in the bottom left hand corner. Now that I've pasted my JSON template, you can see that I'm using a parameter to represent the name of my network stack to match the naming convention of the export. Within the resource configuration for this EC2 instance, I'm configuring the group set that represents the security group ID as well as the subnet ID to use values from the other stack. First, to match the name, I'm using the sub intrinsic function to substitute the value of the parameter into my string. After the complete string resolves, I can use it along with the import value intrinsic function to import the other stack's value into this field. Remember, the string referenced by import value must exactly match the export name from the other stack. Now, let's choose the create stack button to continue. Select next and then enter a stack name. In the parameter section, we've prompted for our parameter that's requesting the name of the network stack. I'll open a new tab by selecting stacks, and then I'll copy the name of my network stack. Return to the configuration page, paste in the parameter name, and then choose next, next again, and then scroll to the bottom of the page after reviewing the information. Now, to create your stack, Choose Submit. While we're waiting, I'll show you how to view all exports in your account's region. Select the Menu button, followed by Exports, and then you can see all the exported names that are available as well as their associated value and originating stack. Remember, these export names must be unique per account per region, and they must match the name passed to the import value intrinsic function. Now, let's return to the previous page and check on our CloudFormation stack. Great, it appears that our EC2 stack is created. To show that our subnet and security group are in use, we can manually check the resource in the EC2 console. Choose the Resources button and select the EC2 instance ID that's specified as the physical ID. As you can see from the details and security page, the values here match the values that were exported by our network CloudFormation stack. 
And now you know how to reference a resource that's in another AWS CloudFormation stack during template creation. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>